when I put the dress on, it did not sit right on me. I made McCall's 8214. I was really interested in view B, so I picked up some white rayon fabric and I cut out an extra small. And as I was looking at the dress, I decided that I wanted it to be just a little bit longer. So I figured I would just go ahead and lengthen the bodice. So I took some paper and I measured from the bottom of the hem five inches down on the front and back bodice pieces. And then that was the way that I lengthened the hem. After that, I added the two tiers at the bottom and the dress was complete. When I put the dress on, it did not sit right on me. And I think I figured out why. So here are the bodice pieces. This is the bodice front and this is the bodice back. On the side that has the sleeve, not the side that has the center front, I should have extended the pattern out. So maybe say gone out about an inch over here and it would have looked something like this. So I could have drawn a line over about an inch and then blended this line back into the side of the pattern. And I could have even curved this line just a little bit. But the whole point is I should have gone out a little bit over here and then come up and blend it right back into the pattern. And I would have gone out on the front the same amount and then gone out on the back piece the same amount and blended right back up into the pattern piece. Okay, so this is how the dress looked after I added the extra length and you can see that it just goes straight down. Now the hem would have stopped somewhere in this area before I added the extra length to the hem, but by me adding this extra length and just going straight down, I did not account for the fact that the extra length was going to cover the hip area. And so once the dress was done and I put it on, it is very tight in this area right here because I didn't give myself extra room to go over the hips. I've decided that I want to go ahead and make the dress again. And this time I'm going to make view A, which is the short dress. I think that's really, really cute. And there are only four pattern pieces. And one of the pieces is the pocket piece, which is really nice because I didn't put any pockets in the first dress that I made, the white one. And then you have the two bodice pieces front and back and then the skirt. This piece goes for the skirt or the little tier. And this is the front and back of the skirt or tier. I've decided to use this fabric that I purchased from LA Finch. It is a rayon and it has this denim kind of look. It's really like a dark navy color. And I will definitely make sure to use some spray starch on this because it will stiffen the fabric and make it a little bit easier to work with because rayon does have a tendency to kind of shift and move when you're sewing with it. The sleeve on this dress is pretty short. So I've decided that I want to go ahead and lengthen the sleeve. This is how it looks as it's just hanging down. So I'm going to lengthen it about an inch and a half. It's not going to be that much longer because I really don't have a whole lot of fabric. Now this is how I lengthened the sleeve. I put some tracing paper under the pattern piece and then I like to make sure that the pattern is taped down where the grain line is going to be straight and lined up with one of the lines. And in this pattern, the grain line is going to be the fold line. And then I also like to tape down the tracing paper because it really likes to curl up. So it's just easier if it's all taped down and out of the way. I measured out one and a half inches and then I lined the corner of the pattern where the sleeve ends out and then I made a dot and then I did the same thing at the bottom of the pattern just measured out one and a half inches away from the edge and then I just went around the edge of the pattern and just kind of made a mark as I went around here to kind of get this curved extension of one and a half inch just to lengthen the sleeve slightly. Now I'm going to take this curved ruler and 
I'm just gonna connect the dots. I'm just gonna move it around as need be just to kind of get it pretty close to even. I may have to go back in here and straighten this out. But basically you're just connecting the dots to get a nice curve to match this curve here. And then I can straighten this out a little more, cut it out, and then I'll do the same thing for the front piece. I didn't have to cut out a whole new pattern piece. I just cut around this extension and everything else will remain the same. It will just have this addition here on the side. So I just finished putting the bias tape around the neckline and I had a little extra fabric left over so I decided to add a pocket to the front left of the top. Here are the sleeves. They're still short but they're just not as short as they were. Now I'm going to go ahead and sew up the side seams and then I will work on finishing the sleeves off with a narrow hem. There are two pieces for the skirt and you are to add basting stitches along the top for the gathers and I put marks 5 8 of an inch away here and also on the other end here and so I am going to start the basting stitches at this 5 8 of an inch mark and then I will end the basting stitches here on this opposite side and then after that you will just attach the pockets to the skirt sections each of the skirt sections and then I should be able to put the skirt sections together and then go ahead and start attaching the skirt to the top. So this view that I'm making calls for scalloped laced trim. The trim is supposed to be sewn on the bottom of the hem here and you can see on the front of the envelope, this is how it will look. So you can see it there, just a little bit hanging out. My plan is just to serge around this edge and finish the hem off with a narrow hem. To create the narrow hem, I serge around the bottom of the hem and then I press this serged area up and then I will fold this edge over like this, stick it under the presser foot and then sew down this whole area. The white dress is not very comfortable to wear. It kind of looks okay on but in the back it just really hugs my hips and it doesn't make it very comfortable to walk in. So I think I figured out a way that I can make the dress wearable. So what I think I can do since it's just straight down. I think that I can actually cut the dress somewhere in the middle and then just bring this gathered edge up to the top somehow. And I think that that will actually correct the problem. As long as this little waist area is not hugging my hips, I think it'll be okay. So if I just cut a line here and pull everything up, I won't even have to undo any gathers. And I think that that will make the dress fit better. Okay, so here are all my cuts. I cut the dress in half and then I cut off a portion of the bottom of the skirt. I thought I measured equally, but it looks like this side is actually longer than this side, but I'm gonna still put these two together anyway. I think it should fit just fine. I will have a seam across here, but I think that's gonna make the dress fit better. So let's see how this turns out.
before I go, I want to leave you with a love share. So I have two oil diffusers in my home that I really like. They light up and you drop essential oils in them and it just really makes a room smell good. Well, the other day I was on the internet and I saw someone talking about this oil that they just really loved. And so I was interested, but when I looked at the price, I was like, whoa, okay. Mm, I don't know if I want to pay that much for an oil. But I saved the oil anyway just because of the way the person was talking about it. So I was still intrigued. Well, the other day I decided to just go ahead and bite the bullet. It was on my mind. I kept wanting to try it, but the price was kind of turning me off. But I was like, uh, all right, I'm going to give it a shot. I got the oil in the mail yesterday and I took the top off. I pulled it out. I was like, okay, let me see what this is about. Oh, I love it. I am so glad that I decided to bite the bullet and go ahead and get this oil. And it comes with this little dropper. So it doesn't take much you know I just put like one or two drops in my diffuser and it made the room smell so good I can't even describe the scent it kind of it kind of reminds me of a men's cologne like in a good way it smells so nice so I just wanted to share this with you in case you're interested in checking it out